I've been working to prep this site here just outside of our house for an outdoor project that Melissa and I absolutely 100% have to have completed within the next few days. But before we can begin to tackle this, we're gonna head back inside to wrap up some of the things that are keeping us from moving into our home. Hola, mommy. Hola, puppy. All right, I'm done up there. What are we working on? Um, do you wanna just go room to room and then we'll just knock everything off that way? Yeah, that's fine. You wanna know, start in here? Yeah. Let's get that hood bit wrapped up finally. A couple days ago, HVAC came and got our hood vent all hooked up. So now it looks a little bit like Jiffy Pop, like we would make popcorn on a campfire. It's definitely, a coffee can. <laughs> yeah, definitely a custom job, but it's going to work perfectly. So now Jeremy and I have the task of making that look pretty. It's a bit of a unique situation up there. So we are trying our best to piece this together. Bring it back. We got everything situated for this hood vent. I had to make some very minor modifications for the mounting brackets just because this is a very unique situation, like Melissa said. So that seems to be working out well. We're going to cut this little shroud cover that hides all of this mess because it's too tall. So we're going to take it outside, take about an inch and a half off the top, and then this trim piece that slides over this bracket should hide all my ugly cuts. So, sit outside and get that done. So you gotta draw a butt. It's not a butt. You put a butt, butt in there. It's a heart. There. You got some major dusting you're doing here. <laughs> and now it's a butt. I gotta pop this out. Real Looks quick. like you bet I'll be doing plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll slide this on, and that should do it. That's great. Hey, why is this not? Are you sure this is not the top? What? What? <laughs> it goes this way. It doesn't fit. This is too narrow. We were having a hard time getting that crown piece to fit and we have officially figured it out. It is too small. The company sent us a crown piece for a 36 inch hood instead of a 48 inch hood. So they're going to have to send us the correct one. And for now, we are going to add this to the list of 90% done. This has been sitting in our house literally for like two months, <laughs> but we're just figuring this out right now. Oh my God. Feels like we're never gonna finish. No, let's actually go finish something. Okay, so there's still a lot for us to work on in here before we get everything squared away. A little discouraging start with the hood vent and that not working out. But uh, we have a whole bunch of other things we need to tackle. Yeah, so we're just gonna go room by room. The next room is the pantry. When we put our fridge in, we discovered that the freezer drawers were pretty small, especially for our size family. And so we said we were gonna put a small chest freezer in the pantry. And then you guys said, no, get an upright. You're gonna hate a chest freezer. So we took your advice and we got a small upright freezer. I hope it fits. We're gonna go try. It'll fit. You're gonna have to move your robot though. Oh yeah, my robot. Poor robot. This is Rosie, she's my robot mop, and she needs a new home, so we're gonna put her in the master closet. Let's go grab that freezer, mama. Look at it, it's adorable. Adorable. Tiny little fridge for our giant family. And a freezer. Freezer for our family. Push, mom, push! Oh, we're a very big family. We're very tall people. Five very tall. 
I want to make sure that I'm providing my family with the best products possible, but finding an aluminum-free deodorant that actually works was a bit of a challenge until we found Native. Native deodorants come in so many fun scents. There's something for everyone. I got the lilac and white tea for myself. And Jeremy's favorite, cashmere and rain. Thanks, hon. Not only do native deodorants actually work, but they last up to 72 hours, even after a full day of working on the house build. They go on smoothly and don't leave your skin feeling sticky. Native deodorants are aluminum and paraben free and include ingredients that we've actually heard of, like coconut oil and shea butter. And native doesn't only offer deodorants, they also offer some amazing toothpaste and body washes. Embrace the magic of autumn with native's limited edition fall collection. Create your own cabin in the woods feeling with native scents such as wildwood and cardamom, warm cider and cinnamon, toasted marshmallow and vanilla, and cashmere and rain. Normally, three deodorants would be $39, but if you use our link and code GOODSIMPLE2, you will get them for just $26. That is a savings of over 33%. Plus, if you use our code, you will get toothpaste and body wash for 20% off. One, two, down, oh! One, two, down, oh! One, two, three! It's party time. That's Excellent. It's Wage World. That's how it goes. That's not how it goes. It is. It goes Wage World. Wage World. Party time. Excellent. <laughs> Woo! So annoying. <laughs> Melissa, it's a Vasani. Yeah. Makers of the bottle of water. Vasani? <laughs> 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 you get it. You get my humor. You want to talk about the events more? What? You seem very frustrated. No. I'm over it. Moving on. <laughs> Big reveal, Mama. Big reveal. Oh. Well, that's not right. <laughs> no. Oh, it's not any better on this side. What? Oh my gosh. We're gonna have. We're gonna get nothing done. Look. Like, clearly it fell off the truck. So somebody dropped it and was like, it's okay, let's sell it. <laughs> Today's going swimmingly. No. So what do I do now? I have to repackage <laughs> this before I take it back outside or what? Well, see, I don't know, Jeremy, you destroyed the box after <laughs> you weren't upset about the hood vent. No, I wasn't upset about the hood vent. I'm not upset about this either, Melissa. <laughs> oh. oh. I don't know, look at the box. Okay, well, we are now 0 and 2 on the day. We're gonna get this moved back outside, stick it back in the trailer, come back in and tackle the washer and dryer. Hopefully that goes better. Oh, thank God. So we have all of our water lines for the washer. Let's swap these around. And yeah. Hopefully this one goes better than everything else. <laughs> That's they, they say that bad things come in three. Oh, great. But they also say that third time's the charm. So, which will it be? Jeremy is getting the plug to the dryer all hooked up and you guys may remember when we moved the washer and dryer in here a couple weeks ago that the door to the room barely closed with the dryer by the door and we didn't have any of the duct work or the plug hooked up yet. So we are going to be swapping the position of them, putting the washer by the door and the dryer over by the sink because the washer should sit more flush with the wall. Hopefully when we get them all hooked up, the door to the room closes. Why don't we try plugging this in before I shove everything back and get the duct work on. Okay. Sure it's working. Stuff come on. Might have to flip the breaker. Looks like the breaker is turned on. Well, it might help if I hit the power button. There it goes. That's quite the breeze, let me tell you. <laughs> well, you didn't know what that meant. <laughs> Yeah, it's not getting warm yet. I've decided I'm gonna name this one Betty. Betty? Yeah, because Bessie's like our country bumpkin that fell off the trunk, and then she's like such a Betty in comparison. And he needs like a good name. Bert. No, Bert's our old beat up one. He, Bert, needs, he needs to be like Brad. It's gotta be a B name. Brad, Brad sounds like super like he wear nice shoes and iron his jeans. Brian. 
<laughs> no, no Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Left me a Tolo. I told you I'm never gonna forgive him. Door test. I think it's gonna work for sure, but we don't have the water lines on there yet. So. Well, yeah, okay, chest. Plenty of space, so. Good. This now becomes irrelevant. We're gonna get the water lines on here, but I don't think the water lines are gonna hit that up, but all this should be good. Melissa? What? We've been married a long time. Do you maybe have something to tell me? What? Why am I smelling? Did you make a foofy foofy? A what? What is that foofy foofy? Jeremy, hurry up and put some water in that picture. Don't blame the drain line, Melissa. Oh my god. I smell sewer. <laughs> you know, me too. More Bessie and Bert. Nope. Now we got Betty and Brad. Brad? I love, I'm going with Brad. As in Pitt. That Legends of the Fall Brad Pitt. He's the Legends of the Fall Brad Pitt. Almost as sexy. Almost. 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 Not quite. <laughs> no. Alright, you are powered up. Give me a shot. That's not necessary. It's such a pleasant sound. It it's is. Like, you are doing my dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Things going smoothly for once. So we swapped the washer dryer position. It looks like everything's gonna work out just fine. We have plenty of clearance for the door here in the laundry room. All of our water lines are connected. We have a, con a condenser line from down in the crawl space that's fed up through the wall. That's back down the drain along with the drain from the actual washing machine. So we're gonna open these valves, make sure we don't have any leaks, and then we will get the dryer squared away and we will move on with our day. Very good, very good. Oh, I love it. I love it. No water. Now that we got the washer and dryer all sorted out, we have one last project today. We are going to finish the kids' bathroom and to do so, we need to get the shower all squared away. Right now, there is drywall mud and paint and dirt and bugs and everything else all over that tub. So we're gonna get it all cleaned up. Jeremy's gonna clock all around it and then we can get the shower bar up and the shower curtain and they can actually take showers in there. For Melissa's back here having to scrub off all the drywall mud that somebody left on the tub. Not sure who that was. Woo! That's nice, very nice. Oh, uh, you missed something. Uh, okay. You got it. You got it. Partnership. What, you want to you make explain a mess yourself? and I clean it up? You want to explain yourself? You did that! I didn't do that! Oh, look at you go. Oh. Oh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of day drinking. Once again, I give it a 7.2. 7.2. That pears tonight. You want to try a pear? Let me think. You just ate that whole thing, yeah? Is it good? It is? Is it good? It's good? It has been a couple of hours since we got the shower caulked. We let all that silicone dry up. Oh my gosh, Jeremy, I didn't even, there wasn't even a look. You shot me You a just look. said the word and then you started giggling. Anywho, all of that is not dry, so we're going to be getting the shower curtain rod put in place along with the shower curtain. Yeah, and then the bathroom is completely done. Except for the towel Jeez, rack. Jeremy. Got okay. the towel rack. And the bathroom is 90 Percent. Put it on the 90% list. It's done. Good enough. Is it a first? You got it? Oh, yes. This shouldn't be this hard. You're still working on that? <laughs> yeah, because every time I straighten this square, then that one goes cockeyed. You want me to hold that? Good? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. All right, shower ring. You let me know when you're ready. I'm just going to stand by with this shower curtain for you. That's Bye -bye. what I was talking about with these. They fall off. I feel like we're in that scene of E.T. where the government storms our house <laughs> and sticks Elliot back behind the plastic. Remember that? Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. It's not 
necessary. It's not necessary. Okay. It's cool. There. It's actually not bad. Yeah, I don't mind that. <laughs> I don't even know what it looked like. It's very North Idaho, Montana. <laughs> it is. I dig I like it. It's cool. Yeah, I do. Yesterday morning, Jeremy got all the prep work done for today's project. We are preparing for the installation of our propane tank. So that 500 gallon tank is coming any day. So we've got to get the pad ready for it. Well, the propane tank that we were having installed, we were gonna be constructing a frame that'll be filled with gravel and that's what's gonna serve as the pad for the actual tank. So what we've done is cut all of our lumber to the proper length. It's gonna be an eight by three frame. We're gonna get it set in place, level everything off, burn up some dirt around it, try to do our best to keep moisture out and then we will backfill this entire frame with compacted gravel. What makes a man? One, two, three. Uh. You almost had it. You all, there she goes. There she goes. There's trouble brewing on the outside of town. For daily dosages of food. Lean in my direction, don't sit still. And I said, hey, Oklahoma girl. Okay, this is actually not bad. But... Ain't this a messed up little world? And your ass can circles round my soul. Between the lines, let me know. How nice is it to have water at the house now? It's very nice. Hot and cold. Love it. We've come a long way, Mama. <laughs> Definitely more convenient. Brought a bunch of gravel over. We got as much of it stuck under and around the frame as possible. Also on the inside, I'm just trying to create a channel basically for water to drain should any make it all the way down here. So with the hose, we're going to try to eliminate any air bubbles, any place where the gravel and dirt may not have settled correctly. So once that's done, we'll keep back filling. It'll be a whole process where we also tamp things down and make sure it's nice and solid. While well, Jeremy continues to work on the pad outside, I wanted to take a moment to thank everyone that has already given to our pediatric cancer fundraiser this year. We have a goal of raising $30,000 for Acoin. If we can raise $30,000, Jeremy and Kaimani are going to be shaving their heads live. Plus we also have another huge surprise that we're going to be doing if we can reach that goal. We also just opened up the toy drive portion and the adopt a family portion. So down in the video description below, you will find a link to the Amazon wish list. When you purchase an item, the items will be shipped here to us. We will organize them by family or by item, and then everything will be boxed up, loaded into our trailer, and we will be delivering them on video in the middle of November. If you are curious about what this toy drive is going to look like, we did a video last year. This year, we are hoping to make it even bigger. Finishing our home has me looking back over this entire process. And not just on our journey here in Idaho, but on the journey that we've been on over the past 20 years, the one that has brought us to today. I thought about all the little things that fell into place at just the right time, but also all the many, many things that went wrong. 
We tried so hard to buy the four acres next door to us in Washington, but the answer was always no. Then as we searched for properties out in Idaho, we made offers on a few, but there was always some kind of roadblock that prevented us from buying what we thought was our dream property. I thought about the jobs that we tried to get that never called us back and all the no's that have redirected our paths. Ever hear the saying, what didn't work out for you actually worked out for you? Just think about that for one minute. It's one of those things that in the moment of no, on the day that a relationship or a property sale or a career completely falls apart, we can't understand it. But so often, that moment where everything is falling apart is actually the moment that all of the pieces are falling into the perfect places to create the path to where you're meant to go. So many times I'd ask for something and when the answer was no, I would doubt it. But standing here on this piece of land with this man and our children and the home that we built together, it's suddenly clear. So the next time that something doesn't work out, try to remember that maybe, just maybe, it actually did. And sometimes, out of the blue, an opportunity might present itself that you could have never imagined was possible. <laughs>